I'm Seita Shimizu, a 27-year-old who works for a cleaning company. We take orders from various types of companies, and there's this company that is hard to deal with. Oh, thank you for cleaning. Sakura Mia-san. A lower-class person like you has a lot of hardships. Uh... She's the 22-year-old daughter of the president of this company called Homenoba Foods. Homenoba Foods have a lot of chain restaurants. Since she's the president's daughter, she works for the company as a member of the board. Working here brings me down because she makes fun of me all the time. I'll go back to work. Excuse me. You should. <sighs> well, people like her are everywhere. The other workers are all good people, so I should think of this as nothing more than just a job. Honestly, I'm pissed. However, there's a reason why I can hold back my anger. I've moved into a high-rise condo that I've been wanting to. Whatever she says can't bother me anymore. She thinks of me as a poor guy, but actually, I live in this high-rise condo. All right, I'll enjoy this day off to get ready for tomorrow's work. Some time passed since I moved, but I haven't been able to go out because I've been busy. So, I decided to go out today. I had a good day and came home afternoon. Is she cleaning the lobby? At the building I lived in until recently, the landlord cleaned sometimes. So, they hire a cleaning company because it's a high-rise condo. Thank you for... Huh? Huh? S sakura mia san What are you doing here? You can't tell. A part-time job. Huh? You, the president's daughter who isn't supposed to be poor, has a part-time job? Hmm. What are you doing here? I live here. Huh? Wait, what did you just say? Oh, I gotta go back to work. I'll talk to you late. Huh? I, I gotta go. While Sakura Mia-san panic, I hurry to my apartment. If I get tangled up with her, it'll be troublesome. However, I'll have to see her again anyway. I ran away from her at the condo, but I'll have to see her again at home in Oba Foods. I hope I'll find a way not to see her somehow. I was getting ready to leave for home since I was done with work. And then... Wait a sec! Uh, she found me. Hmm, Sakura Mia-san? What's wrong? We need to talk. Uh, okay. What is it about? I'll work at your condo next week, too. Can we have a moment after that? I can't turn her down. Well, speaking with her for a bit won't hurt me. Uh, okay. Next weekend. Here you go. Thanks. Why in my apartment? I had to let her into my apartment since she wanted some privacy. So... What is this about? Before that, I'm sincerely sorry for everything I've done to you. I know how selfish it'll sound to you even though I was rude to you, but I'd like to apologize to you. Uh, unexpectedly, she's being polite. So, what I need your advice on is, would you teach me how to earn money, please? Huh? Of course, you'll get paid, but... I can't give you money right away, so it'll be a contingency fee. I'll give you some of my own wage. What? Well, wait a sec. In the first place, why do you, the president's daughter, have to earn money so badly, even having a part-time job? Not telling you anything would be rude. I can't tell you all the details because it's about our company's finances. But because of the epidemic, our performance has been declining annually. We run restaurants. The fewer people there are, the worse our performance will be. I see. But Home and Oba Foods is a big company. It's not urgent, is it? You're right. Because of our past profits, we can be in the red for a while. However, the equipment of some of the restaurants has been worn out. So, they have fewer customers and can't even open the restaurants. We can have the old stuff fixed, but we can't buy new stuff. If we can't change our circumstances within a few years, we'd have to lay off some workers. In the worst scenario, we'd go bankrupt. Or, we'd be taken over by another company. It's inevitable. What kind of measures are you taking? In order to cut costs, I haven't been receiving my wage for a while. Strictly speaking, it's director's compensation. I don't have to get paid at all. But 
How do you live that way? Luckily, I live at my parents' house. I have a part-time job, so I can live on the wage from it. To sum up, she told me that the company's performance won't recover at this rate. It won't go bankrupt soon, though. She's been trying to cut costs to avoid bankruptcy as much as she can. At the expense of her private life. I know how selfish I am. I've been making fun of you. I don't have the right to ask you for advice, but... Would you please help us? She's been looking down on me. But now... I know she's not a bad person, at least. She doesn't want me to lend her any money. She wants to make money on her own. I'm not gonna let her decision go to waste. However... Sakura Miyasan, what are you gonna do after you earn money? Mm, I'm gonna use it to pay the workers their wage and take care of the restaurant's equipment. So, it's not herself. It's for someone else. The company's profit becomes her own profit in the end. But, considering what she told me, she puts the workers first. That's how I felt. But, even if you make some money on your own, it's just a stopgap. And some of the restaurants can't even open because their equipment is so old. Even if we get the latest equipment, considering our worsening performance so far, we're gonna reach a dead end anyway, right? You're right. It'll be just a stopgap. But I want to increase the chances of the company lasting, even if it's just a little longer. I see. All right, let's talk business. What do you think we should do to have the company recover? Tell me your ideas, even if they're impossible for now. Hmm. The only way is to replace the old equipment. Most of it is old. If we have the latest equipment, we can cut costs in the future and improve our work efficiency. It's not a perfect plan, but I think we'll be more likely to avoid bankruptcy. However, as I told you earlier, we don't have enough money to replace our equipment. We can borrow some money from the bank. Still, it'd be very difficult to recover all the restaurant's operations. Hmm... We can get out of this situation if we replace all of our old equipment. But they don't have enough money for that. How much do you need? Hmm... It's about the company. I understand your hesitation to tell me about it. But I just want to help you. Uh... A uh, hundred million yen. No. 50 million yen is good enough. 50 million yen? Yes. Okay, I'll lend you 200 million yen. Huh? Considering how you told me that, I think you didn't tell me the precise number. Am I right? You are. Then, 200 million yen it is. But, are you sure? That's a lot of money. I'm not giving you, just lending. And this is an investment. An investment? I knew you weren't capable of living in the condo while working as a cleaner. So, you've been investing as a side job? Yeah, I can live in this condo because I invest. My family has been poor since I was little. I lived from paycheck to paycheck because I started sending money to my family after I started working as a cleaner. Living like that, I saved money, learned about investments, and started investing. I earn several hundred million yen from the investments now. Then... Why are you still working for the cleaning company? Because I love this job, I think. Oh, that's so you. Did you say something? No, nothing. Let us go back to the subject. I can teach you how to invest, but you won't be able to do it on your own soon. Considering what you told me, the company could go bankrupt before you learn how to do it, so I decided to lend you money. I see. Thank you. But... Why are you gonna help us? I've been very rude to you. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything if you were aware, but... Well... I was poor when I was little, too. I couldn't leave you behind in agony. Plus, you were gonna sacrifice yourself for the workers. That's why I want to help you out. But if you get sick and collapse, so will the company. So, don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> okay. And so, I started cooperating with them at Hominoba Foods. They replaced their old equipment using money from the bank and my investment. The latest equipment helped their work efficiency improve. All the restaurant's turnovers got better, so the company recovered. We don't have to be worried about the company going bankrupt anymore. Thank you so much. No problem. I'm glad that I was able to give you a hand. By the way, the company wasn't doing well. 
If you didn't use our cleaning company, the situation would have been less bad. You're right, but there wouldn't have been a big difference. And Reyna insisted on keeping the contract. Huh? Seems like Reyna has some certain reasons for that regarding you. She said she'd keep the contract no matter what it'd take. Why? The president doesn't know the reason. But he accepted her reliable daughter's idea anyway. And then... I heard you wanted to talk to me. I was curious about it, so I called her to my place to ask her why. The president told me that you were insistent to keep the contract with my company. Ah! Oh. You hated me, right? Why? I wanted to keep the company clean so that the workers could work comfortably. I thought your company was the most reliable, and I hate lower class people. I didn't want your company, you, to become poor. That's why I keep the contract. Huh? I wanted your company to be out of business, so I kept the contract. Well, that was a misunderstanding. You weren't poor at all, though. Why do you hate poor people so badly? Because... She told me that her schoolmates envied and ignored her when the company was doing well and her family was wealthy. As a result, they ended up hating poor people. I hate poor people, so I didn't want our company's workers to become poor. So I didn't like you being poor. I hope no one is poor anymore. Ah. Plus, Seda-san, you're my first crush. Huh? Do you remember when we first met? That was... when I first went to Home and Oba Foods. So, four years ago? Yes. When we first met, she asked me why I was working as a cleaner. We need people who work as cleaners, but not everyone wants to work as one. Why are you working as one? Well, if I keep the office clean, the workers will be happy. I'm glad that they can work in a clean office. And, you know, cleaning makes you feel like your heart is also clean. Ah! Oh. I love this job. Ever since that, I was interested in you. Before I knew it, I was in love with you. But I thought you were one of those poor people who I hated. So I wasn't sure whether or not I loved you. She hated poor people to protect herself. She thought I, the one she loved, was poor. As a result, she kept talking bad to me in order to keep me away from her. But I ended up being poor too, and you, the one I made fun of, helped me in the end. I love you, but it looks like I'm marrying your money in this situation. I just wanted to tell you my feelings. I'm so sorry for talking bad to you. I won't forget you helped us for the rest of my life. I love you so much. Bye. Wait! Hmm? Honestly, I was thinking you were a bad person until recently. However, I knew you were so sweet that you thought a lot about the workers and tried to help me and my company secretly. I don't know you well yet, so would you teach me about you from now on? You mean... I can't say I'll date you right now, but as a friend, I want to know you better. Are you sure? I am. Seda-san, I'm so happy! And so, we became friends. Three years passed. I still live in the condo and work for the cleaning company, and... Re reina san sorry for the wait! Hey! Hi, let's go! Yeah! We're still friends. It's on me today. Don't be shy. But this restaurant looks fancy. We should split the bill. It's okay. You're done paying me back. We should celebrate it. Thank you. The other day, Home and Oba Foods has finished paying back the debt to me. Home and Oba Foods turnover recovered so well that they paid it back quickly. Thank you for the meal. It was great. Thank you for tonight. Y yeah. I'm also glad we came here tonight. And you know. Yes? Reina san, will you marry me? Huh? Oh, sorry. Actually, I was gonna confess my love to you when you finished paying me back. Proposing to you even though we aren't even dating is... I know, but... I didn't have anything against her anymore ever since she told me her past and her feelings for me. I'm completely in love with her because our relationship grew for the past three years. Wow. <laughs> yes. Really? Yes, but not dating. I want to marry you. Ah, sure. And so, we decided to marry. We can't judge a book by its cover. 
there might be hidden meanings in her words. She's moody, but I want to get to know her more from now on. 